So then guys, the new Mac Mini. Can we make it into a games console or could we make it into kind of a PC gaming machine and would I recommend you doing this? Well, I've been trying this out over the last couple of days to see how well the M4 Mac Mini can do with playing games. Now, what I want to say at the very beginning of this video, this video is not about me doing benchmarks, doing you the frames per second, trying out every single new game under the sun, because simply there are loads of other YouTube videos out there doing this already. So if you do want to check them out, go look for them. What I wanted to do as my experiment was, could we actually use a Mac Mini to actually play some games and also the facility to maybe even play, say, cloud games and actually use this device, say, underneath your TV as potentially a sort of semi gaming device out there. Now you might think I'm crazy to think to do this, but at the end of the day, it got me thinking that this Mac mini, being that so many of us YouTubers and kind of reviewers out there saying this is the best money, you know, what you can buy for a Mac right now, and it really, really is. Well, how good could it be for gaming and what are the potentials there in the future and also right now? So first of all, what I've decided to do for you guys, I wanted to try some games sort of hardcore, but actually onto this Mac Mini with the M4 inside of it. And just in case you wanted to know, well, this one here is the actual 256 gigabyte model with 16 gigabytes of RAM and also the standard M4 inside of it too. And then first of all, what I've actually done is I've installed Crossover. Now, if you've never heard of Crossover, it's a great app to get out there and it allows you to essentially play a lot of Windows games on a Mac without having to say install VM software. It does all of those kind of bits and pieces for you. And I'm not doing a sponsor or anything for them. So I just wanted to tell you that right now, but the results have been really, really good. And I've actually tested out a couple of games on here. And first of all, let's test out one of the games that I tried out and that was Cyberpunk 2077. Now with Cyberpunk 2077, it is actually natively coming to the Mac. Apple actually announced this at their Mac event about two weeks ago or so at the time of making this video. So yeah, this is really, really exciting to see it's gonna come along, but I want to actually test it out right now because you can actually test it. And as you can see here, I actually set everything up here. I actually set some AMD FSR, set it to performance. And then obviously what I decided to do after this was run the benchmark. And as you can see, it does run, it's on low kind of settings and we're running at 1080p here. And the frames per second, they're okay. This is quite playable, obviously on the benchmarking tool that obviously if I was playing this properly, it looks quite cool. And then you can see the actual final results right here. So with that, not too bad for an M4. And remember, this is running through crossover. This is not actually natively running on this. That's pretty quite a good result we actually got there with the M4. Obviously, I know that if you had an M4 Pro with more cores inside of it, and then even if you went for, say, I don't know, a MacBook Pro with the M4 Max, it's gonna do even better than what we got right here. But for a device that cost $599, that wasn't too bad, I would say, out there, especially everything else what you can do with this device on top. Now, obviously what I'm gonna say at this stage, obviously the Xbox Series X, the PS5, you know, if you've got yourself a gaming PC rig set up with a GTX 4000 series, any card like that, or, you know, the lowest spec one, the 4050 and above, obviously that's gonna completely thrash what we've got right here. But what you've got to remember is that this here is a Mac and what it can do, that's pretty impressive, especially the scenario where we were, say a couple of years ago, that not many games could work that well on a Mac unless you spent a massive big premium on them. Remember back then, we just used to have the Intel chip inside of say a Mac mini. We didn't have any kind of dedicated graphics cards or any kind of sort of graphics enhancements whatsoever. And they were really, really pathetic to play any game like this. It was completely unheard of. So this is quite impressive to actually see now in 2024. But not only this, I tried out a couple of other games too. So I tried Horizon Zero Dawn. And again, you can see here, this is running quite well on the benchmark here. We're getting some good frames per second and everything. And again, this is quite playable at 1080p on here. Now I must admit again, I've had to set up FSR and this is on performance mode. So yeah, this is one thing I will say, this is the caveat on here. But the main thing is it is playable on a Mac. You could actually play the game. It's not gonna be the best gaming experience out there like I just said before, like the same with Cyberpunk right now at this time. There are far better devices out there and consoles out there and gaming PCs out there. But the point is it can actually achieve it just about. And it's the same thing here. Let's try an older game 
game here, like GTA 5. And even trying out GTA 5 here as well, using crossover, this is quite impressive what we're actually seeing here. We're actually getting sometimes 120 frames per second, mainly we're sitting around about 100 frames per second, sort of averages there. And obviously if we're close up in sort of the city sort of area, like you can see right here, we get around about 70, you know, 75 frames per second. Again, very, very playable at 1080p. And I must say that this has actually been playing at the very high settings, what you are seeing right now, with no other sort of tricks and things like this added, no sort of DSLS or, you know, AMD FSR, none of that kind of stuff, literally just raw performance here at very high settings, and we're getting those kind of frames per second. And that is quite impressive what you can get with just the baseline M4 Mac Mini with 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it. What is also super impressive is the giveaway that is coming up very soon on this channel for this. This here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel near the end of December time. In fact, just before Christmas, around just before the 24th of December, I'm gonna be doing a video on this channel giving you more details about the giveaway and things like this. But like I said, this is an iPhone 16 Pro Max I'm gonna give away, it's the Desert Titanium, or titanium desert, whatever you want to call it. And it's also got 256 gigabytes of storage. And all you have to do right now for the giveaway is just put down in the comments below of what technology devices that you're hoping to still get in 2024, or maybe into the early part of 2025. Maybe it's a new Mac mini you might be getting, or maybe another kind of Mac device or an iPhone. Maybe the PS5 Pro, because obviously that's going to way beat out gaming than on one of these, because I can tell you that right now. Or maybe it's going to be something else out there let me know in the comments below and like I said guys that video with the more details about the actual giveaways coming near the end of December time so you won't want to miss out on that because there will be a little form to fill in and things like this of what I'll be giving away and giving you the details about in that video and also the live stream of when we're actually going to do it the actual date of when we're actually going to be giving away this iPhone 16 Pro Max. So with that then guys, what I would recommend that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Plus you also wanna be a subscriber because at the end of the day, you know, this is gonna be given away to a subscriber in the future. So yeah, this is one of those things. But the other thing I just wanna quickly say to you guys is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me too, telling you to WhatsApp, to Telegram, to Instagram, direct message and things like this. Please do ignore these people, or better so you can see right here, please do report them. So moving on then, we can establish that crossover does work and we can do that with some Windows game, but obviously Mac actually has some of its own games already that you can actually play natively. Let's see how well they work, starting out with Resident Evil. So with setting up the game in settings here, obviously I set the Metal FX upscaling to performance, obviously with 1080p, full screen, everything like that. And as you can see here, this is right at the beginning of the game, just to show you guys a bit of a demo here. It looks fine, to be honest. Obviously, I'd say some of the shaders and some of the stuff in the field of vision takes a bit of time to load. You've got to forgive my shininess on my screen, the light hitting it there, but you can see the game works quite well, obviously, you know, everything's clicking okay. This is, remember, this is just the M4 Mac hit here, we've got here, the M4 Mac Mini. And, you know, I would be saying we're playing at 30 frames per second. You can see what I mean now. Things are just appearing a bit by bit. There we go, like the grass there and stuff like that, the long grass. It just appears. So, yeah, it's it's playable. I'm going to give you that. Is it the best experience? Probably not. The main thing is, though, like I said, this is the lowest spec sort of Mac you can get right now with the M4. That is the cheapest Mac out there. And this is playing this game. What is quite amazing to see really. So obviously, yeah, things and things get in my face here and everything, but you get the idea. It's doing really, really quite a good job here. Was that guy there? There he is. But obviously, yeah, I think this is doing quite a good job here. And then of course, the other game I wanted to test out is a good benchmarking thing for a Mac, and that is obviously Tomb Raider. Now on this one, I managed to get the frames per second counter working in the corner. And you can see even at this point, we're at 100 frames per second. Look at that, it's amazing there, 99. That's really, really great on this part of the benchmark. But over here on this part, we're about 60, 57 sort of frames per second on this sort of scene, 60s. That's quite good too. And then obviously on this one as well, we're in the 60s again. So I reckon it's going to balance out in the mid 80s, I reckon, uh, frames per second. We'll see in just a second, see what the score is. And there we go. There we go. Look at that. So sort of the average 
average, I was wrong, was 72 frames per second. What is still really good just for the baseline M4. Now, there is another way that you can actually play games on, say, a Mac Mini, and you're not actually really using any power of the Mac Mini whatsoever, and that is using, say, a cloud service. So, for example, right now, what we've actually got available is the Xbox Cloud System. And then, obviously, with this, we can actually play games on this. So, for example, we can play COD or Call of Duty, as the other name as we know it, and obviously this is Modern Warfare 6, the latest and greatest game, and obviously you can play this via cloud, and it works really, really great. I can't really show you the frames per second here, unfortunately, because obviously this is working over the cloud, but I guess it's about 30 frames per second, but it works. That's the main thing. You can actually play this on your actual Mac Mini, and obviously this is really, really cool advantage that you can actually have if you had this underneath, say, your TV. Now, I know some of you guys will say, obviously, that's a bit of cheating, what we've just done there, because you're not essentially using the power. But we are actually using, you know, this actual Mac Mini to achieve that, to even just access the web page to make that work. The point was, is that this Mac Mini, as small as it is, is quite a powerhouse, and it also gives us the ability to play games. Now, obviously, can it play games at the standard of other sort of gaming PCs out there? No, it can't. Will gaming PCs beat this? Yes, it will. But I think what the point is, is that if Apple decided to actually narrow down into their sort of newer engine technology and decided to use that and actually start doing some upscaling, a bit like what PlayStation have just done now with the PS5 Pro, for example, and then obviously, you know, like I said, we've got FSR with AMD, we've got DLSS with NVIDIA, where we're actually using AI, the equivalent of like the newer engine, What's inside, say, the M4 chip right now to do all of that kind of work. Well, I think Apple have the potential to do this. And in fact, I've even spoken about on this channel that the next Apple TV could potentially have the ability to do this, especially I would say even the A18 Pro inside of it. I think Apple would be onto a win here. They have the power, they have the ability. I think the only thing what they're mainly missing is developers to jump on board. They need to get those contracts sorted out with developers and more people to bring their games over and obviously Apple not to apply such a big Apple tax to actually play games on their actual sort of devices out there because I think that's probably one of the biggest main restraints on there and obviously development tools are a bit of a restraint too but they are getting better with that but the main thing was is that we wanted to find out could we actually make this into a mini games console and I think the answer to that is yes and no. Yes, you can play games like I showed you today. Can we cheat our way around it? Yes, we can too. Is it something that you should buy instead of a gaming PC? Absolutely not. And should you maybe still own a console? I would probably say potentially. But you get the idea. We could potentially, you know, play some games on this and that there is the idea that in the future we could actually even see a games console from Apple if they did it right and applied the right bits and pieces to it. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think the Mac Mini is incredible to actually play games on and things like this? And is this something else that you're going to try out? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.